I've spent so much time on this channel being absolutely traumatized by the amazing world of Gumball. Seriously, it's kind of what instigated my whole being traumatized for a living thing, which is apparently my job now. Isn't that right, Andrew? I get tortured for a living. <laughs> and don't worry, that's not gonna be changing. In this video, I'm still gonna see Gumball Watterson be a crime against humanity in and of himself. Well, not humanity against... Gumballians. The Gumballians. <laughs> Against life. But first, I'm going to watch a compilation of Darwin being freaking adorable. Why, you might ask, am I doing this? For two reasons. One, because I want to see Darwin be freaking adorable. Two, because I want to give myself as much whiplash as possible so that I consume all of this cute stuff and then BAM! Back I am to Gumball being atrocious, being a crime in and of himself. Are you ready? I am. It's fish time. Wow, you guys are so friendly. <laughs> the shimmering eye. Oh. It's almost like too friendly. But of course there's no such thing. He's so naive. Wait, are they actually going to be nice? That's your real name. And I'm Moldown. Reaper, Sive, and Moldown. Cool. Cuphead? So I've said this before. Is <laughs> It looks like it's straight out of Cuphead. I don't like the hand, you know? Darwin is really just so trusting. How is he alive? Farming families or... Will he into agriculture or something? What? Does he... Maybe he is just constantly dying. I mean, everyone else in Elmore is. <laughs> What's... Dude, there's oh. no one in there. But if there had been, it would have been appropriate. Appropriate. I thought he said poopier. I was like, why? I mean, bathroom, I guess. <laughs> his little, his little smile. Okay, he is cute. I've spent a fair amount of time here as well, just calling Darwin a demon. Because, you know, he is. But he can be cute too. An adorable demon. A demon of cuteness, if you will. Oh, he's literally oh, dancing. Come on. Sorry. Oh, no, don't put What the shit? Who could hurt such a pretty face? <laughs> This is so cute. The noise too. Oh my god. Hey, so what was going on there? All the electronics have come to life or something and they're trying to- I don't, Are they even trying to attack? I don't know. That lamp is floating, bro. Gumball. There's no <laughs> such thing as evil people. Just ordinary people who do bad things because they're unhappy. And Gumball, who is evil. Is someone just trying to assassinate Darwin? Why? Oh, here we go. Is it- Wait. I thought that he was about to be beaten up, but they're beating up one of the members of the gang. What? Oh, he fell. Because you guys gotta get along. Oh. What better way than with the song? Oh God, is he gonna sing? The friend, but will never end. You can. Why is he a Disney prince? Forget it. Did, did I mean, you know, I guess he didn't accomplish the goal of bringing them together, but he accomplished the goal of not dying. I thought it might have been like a gag visual and not something that actually happened, but no. Darwin is actually holding all of those small creatures. Why is he so cute? Although, I don't know, I just always assume he has some nefarious purpose. He tried to take over the world, remember? There's a beating heart in everything, <laughs> except players, zombies, and jellyfish. Look inside yourself and- I was like, what does he have against jellyfish? But I guess he's meaning literally? Sombreros and lasers, to a kid who looks Some like he's tasered. You laugh about it thinking it's funny, but is it internet? Is it really? Is he making a point? about meme culture. <laughs> That's not what I would expect from Gumball. That was very strange. Also, does he have fingers? We've been over this, because he's done the weird thing with his hands before. I'm trying to work out how he would hold those gourds. Why are you making that noise? I'm sorry, I always do it when I'm nervous. Well, stop. When you're nervous, not when you're sneaking. Why do you make that noise when you're no- I assumed he was just like doing a joke thing where he was making that noise because they were sneaking. But he does it when he's nervous. Specifically, if he's like, oh, about to give a speech, he's like, <laughs> That's odd, man. And also, I get it, but hey, I don't know what that giant sleeping creature is, but maybe they don't want to wake it. So, hush now, friend. <laughs> so heroic. Is this the school underwater? <laughs> I was. <laughs> why did he say it like that? He didn't. I guess he was underwater. That's probably why it sounded like that. Wait, if it's a dead end, why is there an arrow pointing there with a whole bunch of. I guess maybe it's blocked? So, when you 
I said it was a scary movie. Did you mean scary movies? Why well, is he scared of scary movies? At home and then realizing you haven't are really scary. Like when you're blowing up a balloon and you're worried it might pop. Me. Me 100%. Not the lunchbox thing. I don't care about that. But balloons, man. F balloons. I don't say this lightly. Them. It's not even like I'm scared of them. People think, oh, it's a balloon phobia. I don't have that. In my opinion, it was summed up perfectly by a character called Moss from the IT crowd, where he says that he's just simply on edge because he knows that at any moment it might give him a small fright. And that's really the crux of it. I'm just like, ah, if I'm around balloons, I know that eventually one's gonna pop and eventually I'll do this and I won't like it. And that's it. <laughs> so when I'm blowing up balloons, well, I won't be. I don't. Because I'm not a maniac. <laughs> a cardboard box could be a spaceship. A tiny Imagination. If you look at it through the eyes of a kid. You are a kid, bro. I don't care what's inside it. I just want the box. So Darwin is both a demon and a cat. That's what I've learnt. I think that's fair. Demon cat. I mean, you know, seems about... Oh. I thought that was a butt at first. I realise it's a teapot. But that's like an elephant trunk. I hope, okay, I was gonna say I hope he can't control that because that'd be weird. But how much of a horrible existence would it be if you had a nose up like that? It was just rigid. You couldn't do anything about it. And then that also begs the question, the hat or the lid or whatever, is that ingrained into him? Or can that be lifted? And if it can be lifted, what's inside? What's inside, Andrew? Is it you just take off the lid and there's his brains. <laughs> Why do things always end up down this path when I watch Gumball? I'm watching a cute compilation. That's what's happening here. And somehow it turned into teapot brains. Maybe that says more about me, actually. I just realized. <laughs> one burger, please. Sure. Which one? Mm. Get oh. the slaw crime. It's on promotion. Okay. Would you like to go large? Oh, God. Is that Hello? like a Get Out reference? Hello? Hello? Kid, which is it? Uh, is he bad at making choices or something? Because honestly, relatable. Valid. <laughs> why is he a leprechaun? I liked the first question was why is he dressed like a leprechaun and not why is he fucking naked? And then that the third question becomes why is he fucking uh, naked while dressed as a leprechaun? And does Darwin know he's naked? I mean, I say that like Darwin's not just always naked. Sorry, he's got shoes on, which apparently is his cock. <laughs> Last night, I dreamed that I was in this classroom and there was a naked leprechaun talking back. <laughs> what humiliating is this? And I was wearing shoes made of cake and then the room so this was is water a dream? and I saw two goldfish in the distance. He said he dreamt that there was a naked leprechaun. I'm assuming this is no longer a dream. But in the dream was the naked leprechaun gumball. Because that's a little weird. If so, right? And then I rode all the way up to them on Abraham Lincoln the goat. Yeah! And then they offered me a nut for a jar of tuna. Me, Matthew, didn't like the screaming Abraham Lincoln go. That can fuck all the way over. <laughs> this is the cute stuff. Telling me about Darwin's weird fever dreams involving a half Abraham Lincoln goat trading a nut for tuna. Oh, a nut. Tuna. It's a nut backwards is tuna. <laughs> That's good. That's actually smart. <laughs> tuna backwards? Oh, he just said it. <laughs> for a jar of tuna. I can't believe that I picked up on that. I feel intelligent now. <laughs> So if I follow my dream to the end, I'll get to find out what happened next. Is that... I, I guess it's cute. It, is the person who made this compilation saying that, like, Darwin's dreams are cute? Because I disagree. Kind of firmly, actually. <laughs> well, I guess what makes me happy is helping other people who are less fortunate than ourselves Aww. through circumstances beyond their control. So I'd like to start a charity for... Where are you going? I mean, that's just a recurring pattern, isn't it? Like Darwin's trying to do something or saying something nice and Gumball's just like, nah, helping people? <laughs> I'm outies. Why is he squished? And where is he? This is weird blank space. <laughs> that's nightmarish, not gonna lie. It's his shoe vibra. Well, thought it was gonna eat him. Glad it was just a voice shouting, but also I'm not glad it was a voice shouting through the foot or the shoe, which is also apparently his penis. 
So he was dreaming that he was dancing around in nothingness when his genitals started vibrating. And then he put his genitals to his ear and then they turned into a giant mouth shouting at him to wake up. Is this meant to be cute? <laughs> ring ring, your cock wants to say hello. <laughs> Me! The gumball people have canonically said that his feet, like his, his, his shoes cover his genitals. They made him pick up his genitals, put it to his ear, and then it turn into a big mouth. And I'm the one with the problem. Was it them or was it the gumball community? Them! They literally, he, they censor his feet when, they take, when he takes off his shoes. They're meant to be like his genitals. So weird. You know last week when you made me that sandwich and I said it was great? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, it was not great. It was just good. <laughs> <laughs> like how Gumball seems genuinely shocked by this. Like, no, I only made a good sandwich. Yeah. Okay, that that's cute. adorable. What? Hey. You think you can do better? I'll show you cute. Oh, God. Uh -huh. All right, that's what you want. I don't know. Cute Gumbo Gumball just made it creepy. I don't know why. Darwin just seems to have this natural ease. Because Darwin is naturally cute. Gumball, naturally kind of ratchet. I oh, thought you said ratchet. <laughs> ratchet. <laughs> it's too much. Is that like cute blood or something? Did Gumball die from cuteness? Oh, yeah, uh -huh. a sad dance. What is that? It's a sad dance. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> jelly legs. Very jelly legs. Does he just have a like a cacophony of d different dances for any occasion? There's the my mum's died dance. <laughs> I don't know why I went to that. Anyway. <laughs> Can we at least talk about the temperature? It's so hot. It's in melting. Here. And my mouth is starting to bubble. We need to grow, sir. Ew, I didn't want to see that. I don't want to see the mouth foam. Also, he's already been through being extremely dehydrated. He was that in the origins. Remember, he was like dragging himself across a desert or whatever. He should be used to it. <laughs> he's okay, he's just cute. <laughs> Wait, is he still sweating? Why does nobody care when someone gets harmed? Like his face is just smushed into the floor and he's, I guess, passed out from heat stroke and everyone's like, mm -mm, more important that we argue. Okay, let's nip this in the butt while there's still time. Did you just say <laughs> nip it in the butt? Yeah. It's a very it's common mistake. In the butt, dude. No, it's nipping in the butt. Nipping in the- <laughs> It's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so... Oh, okay. I was skeptical at the start whether I would find this truly adorable, but some of these clips have melted my stone cold heart. It's not so bad. Maybe we can just... Uh... It's horrifying. Oh. Worse. Uh... Awful. Hate Let it. Let me just, uh... Oh, your face is surprisingly malleable. <laughs> <laughs> Hamburger! <laughs> what the... Dude! <laughs> Mustache! <laughs> The sentence, your face is surprisingly malleable, is not something I ever thought I would hear. Making a mustache? One thing. Turning his whole ass face into a hamburger? Whoa! What? Darwin is a demon. Again. Confirmed. Infinite mustache! Infinite. <laughs> They're not helping right now. Oh. At least you know if handsome doctor doesn't work out, you can get a job as a test dummy for a cosmetic surgeon. <laughs> what the? I can't decide which of those I hated more. And I guess at least Darwin was trying to be comforting at the end. But that was uh, truly something. Let's put it that way. Now, are y'all ready? Because I think it's time for some criminal gumball. Now, I already know what a monster gumball is, but if I ever needed proof, here it is. I'm t I just, it's gonna be such a switch in tone, isn't it? I mean, I say that I was still rambling about things that scarred me, but at least that wasn't the intent. But this is gonna be the intent here. It's okay, buddy. We can still stay in touch. Look, I got us these walkie-talkies. Let me help you move in. Why is he so sad then? I remember that. They were gonna put him in a pond for some reason with the other- Be with the other fish, Darwin. I mean, I guess that was sort of a- I don't know if that would even happen. That was just negligence. Doesn't excuse the fact that he- are all fish sentient then? People have said that everything is sentient at some point or another. So did Gumball just commit mass murder? 
I mean, he does that on the reg, so. I respect you as a professional, and I commend you for your dedication to medical practice. And for this, I would like to personally shake you by the hand. Did you just give me a quarter? Trying to and bribe her? And there's more where that came from. How does a thousand cents sound to you? Ten dollars? Hell yeah, ten bucks. How does a hundred cents sound to you? <laughs> if I just wrote you a note now, would you promise never to come back? I swear. Is he gonna give... Was that another quarter? That's a huge coin! Look how thick that is. So he just bribed the nurse for a, for a medical note or something? I guess that's pretty low on the ranking, isn't it? I mean, the one we just saw previously was like mass murder, so... Medical bribery? Okay in my book. <laughs> Settle this in a civilized manner. Mm -mm. Hi, my name is Gumball. Hi, my name is Chief. Stop repeating everything I say! But oh my when God. Hi, you say hi to I have no idea what problem he had with those people, but hey man. Don't just like attack people. He should probably be in jail. <laughs> oh god, is mopping with Darwin? Why does it? Why does Darwin want this? What the? I don't get it. Me neither. I'm holding up a mirror to you guys so you can see the suffering and tragedy in your lives. Wouldn't it be easier to do that yeah. literally? <sighs> what the? Fuck? He just got him to do all kinds of weird, horrifying stuff. To also, he just like popped back, but it really seemed like he was going through pain there. And why can he transform into all those things? Many questions that I don't want the answer to. I guess at least they're seeing what they're going through. And it stared back at me. I am nothing, just a meaningless speck of dust in a crisis. infinite world. Oh god, they smashed? So they, 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 they're dead now? How is it that even when they seem to be trying to do nice things, someone still dies? How is this cr- oh. My cousin. It just- There's more to this clip? <laughs> no, sorry, are we just glossing over that? I was like, what criminal stuff has happened? He hasn't really done anything. And then he grabbed the apple and took a bite. And I was like, oh, well he stole someone's lunch. Nope. Just bit the head off of their cousin. Bro, you know that you live in a world where like, things are always animate for some reason. Maybe don't just start biting shit. You know, what if it's a light? What if it's someone's cousin? Even this alarm up here, what? It's got, the alarm has glasses? What are the rules of this universe? <laughs> oh my god, why, is he beating him up? Polly's in there? Ah! Where is she? More importantly, what do we do about him? But Polly, <laughs> we need victim! Did they just mug someone? Make it look like it happened from natural causes. What? How? Wait, did they kill him? Exercise blows? Yeah. They killed him. We'll make it look like an accident. There. How many people have they killed? And now they're trying to stage the body. God, this isn't working. <sighs> so they they have like not even just accidentally caused many deaths. They they they, they murder people constantly. Hey, catch this up. <laughs> to be frank, you've got no furniture to go. God, stop. Throwing shit at people, bro. Ah! Okay, okay. I oh, God. The only- Oh, I hate that. Good I'll get to that in a second. I'm just gonna cover that up. The only person that wasn't harmed in that scenario was the person they were trying to catch. Okay, now I am ready to deal with this. This- this- Oh, oh. oh that's creepy. You see, Darwin, it is important. Are they trying to kill him? Why not a chainsaw? <laughs> Slow down. This is terrifying. To the stem. They seem like killers in a horror movie. Sir, please help! Oh my god. <laughs> this is messed up, what? <laughs> From his perspective, it would just be the equivalent of seeing people just like rip people apart or shove someone into a wood chipper. <gasps> God, this poor thing. Please help! There's these two kids who. <gasps> I hate this. What? But they know that the thing is sentient. Why are they trying to kill it? What are these? 
Did they succeed? Make sure you don't waste the flower heads and add them to the compost heap. Very good point, Gumball. What? The resulting matter can be used to feed other plants. <laughs> this is straight up horrifying and scarring. I need to call the police. <laughs> ah, no network. Come on, come on. What's going to happen to this poor thing? I'm stressed for it. Why are they making it so creepy too? Leslie. Leslie. Oh. So what happens to I need to Google. Oh, it's that flower too. It's a it's a classmate. Okay, I don't know what happens to him. Maybe it's best I never find out. I was kinda going more for a weeping sore of annoyance. Back off there, my chips! Oh my god! Absolute unhinged maniac. <laughs> Good for him! I think I just understood why things never go my way. Because you're a dick? There's a secret society at school. I'm sorry, what? I didn't get into the school play, but some people did. Joe got away with murder when I got punished for almost nothing, and now this! I thought for a second it might be my fault, but the evidence is overwhelming. Oh my god, he's so not self-aware. A disgusting organization encouraging injustice and elitism. And I want in. Of course you do. You don't want to take it down. You're just angry because you're not included. Because you're like, I'm the best criminal that exists. I am the most unhinged delusional maniac. I should be part of this. <laughs> Cracking down Alan? Why is he so angry? Excuse me, you gonna pop him? No! Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say you're pointing it the wrong way. Hey man, attempted murder. Again, why? There is nothing, what, what has Alan possibly done that Gumball's like, yes, you deserve death. And it's not even like he thought he would just inconvenience him. He's like, oh, I'll pop him. And then somehow we'll magically get back together because that's how the universe works. He said, goodbye, Alan. His intent was to end his life. This is the protagonist, man, what? <gasps> yes, I'm afraid Alan's been cheating on you. With everyone. And I mean everyone. And everything. Kiss the toilet. Carmen, I love you too much to tell you how to feel. Well, I'll tell you how to feel! Single! Any minute now. Here it comes. Gumball, I'm not angry with you. Because when you truly <laughs> love someone, you have to know when to- I can't fight that you angry! Is he trying to make him angry? I can only assume that that's what he's doing. Why does he care so much? Oh no, Alan's too happy. Gotta knock him down. Everyone has to be like me. Miserable. Eating spaghetti and meatballs, but I'm saving the meatballs to last. I hate that so much, dude. <laughs> oh no, I stole the last- Why? Before. Don't rub it on your face. But I always say the best part of my meal. I don't know what Alan was gonna say at the end there, because the clip cut off. But you know what? It doesn't matter. All that matters is that Gumball stole the last meatball from his friend for no other reason than to piss him off. Essentially, he just wanted to make him angry because Gumball is a wonderful human being and definitely not a murderer. <laughs> that was a, that was a video. Man, I wanna go back to all the cute stuff. Even though that too was a little bit scarring in its own ways, I would happily return to just watching Darwin be a cute little, little bitch. That's all I need in my life. Cute little Darwin I could do without the murderous maniac that is Gumball. That's all. <laughs> this show, this cartoon just throws me for a loop every time. I love it. It's so weird. It's so wonderful. You might even say it's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.